This heat we're experiencing is causing a sweat, and so can the high cost of electricity bills trying to stay cool. I'm sure many of you are looking for ways to cut the cost. Our Ken McCoy spoke with Decatur Utilities with a few tips to share. As temperatures increase, um, we're going to try and keep our homes and businesses cool uh, and comfortable. Staying cool this summer could be costly. Most heat pumps uh, are designed to overcome about 20 degrees between the outside and the inside. If you get up in the 90s and you try to keep it at 68 or 67 or 65, that gets or even 72, that can put a lot of strain on the heat pump and cause it to work harder. And when it's working harder, it's using more energy. But with a few adjustments, you can help keep those costs down, starting with temperature control. The Department of Energy actually recommends if you can stand it, set your heat pump on 78 degrees, um, and that will save you both uh, energy and money ultimately on your bill. And if that's still too warm, one is to turn your ceiling fan counterclockwise. If you look up, most ceiling fans have a little switch and you can change the way the fans rotate. So if you're looking up at it, you want it to go counterclockwise during uh, the summer. And what that does is creates a wind chill. And when it comes to your windows, what you want to remember is solar heat is you do not want it in the house during the summer. In the winter, we want that because that's free heating. In the summer, we want to keep it out. So close those blinds, close those curtains, keep that solar heat out. We also say don't use your huge appliances, don't use your oven, don't dry uh, clothes, don't dry dishes during the hottest part. Lastly, make sure to get your heat pump serviced. You, you need to get your uh, heat pump serviced annually. Um, change that filter once a month, but once a year, preferably in the spring or the fall before we really put a lot of stress on that heat pump. Um, you want For Fox 54 News, I'm Kim McCoy.